M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we got the RSBA1 software, which you can actually get on eBay for like 20 odd pounds now, which is pretty good. Um, so this is the software and it doesn't allow a scope with the ICOM 7100, which is the one I'm testing it on. But if you've got a radio that has a scope like the 7300 or the, even the ICOM 705, uh, it will have a scope and it will do dual band. It's excellent. I've used it many times. So, but we're playing around with my ICOM 7100. I'm just going to show you how to set this up now. It's already on now. Uh, let's just get it on screen. Obviously, you need to download the the software. Once you sign up, you basically get the software link and a sort of activation key. So do all that, and then load up the uh, you know load up the the software and then you're going to have to get the thing working and it comes in two forms you've got the screen which is what we're seeing here which is uh, called the remote control but then you've got the sort of software setup which looks like this this blue screen now you have to add things um, so I'll just show you how I added mine so you click add like so then you select accessible from other PCs which is what I've selected next then you need to find your COM port. So you do need the USB cable to be connected to on the back of the radio. There's a little small mini USB B. So get that connected to your PC, but run the driver first. I'll put a link in for the driver, but the driver is very straightforward. You've probably already got it for other reasons, but it is literally just download, run it, and it will work. And so if you look here, I'm on COM 13. If I go device manager, double click 13 there it is there that one you should be seeing silicon labs if you aren't, aren't seeing that you haven't run the driver properly yet and i've got a separate video on running that anyway so once you've got it select usb it, you can click search or just go next this is what i did now the cs civ address if you go set then go to down to connectors and you'll see then civ Look, 88H, okay, so it's back out of that. That's, I think that's the only setting that I actually had to put in. Everything else I just left as default, even the board rate. Now, there are rules here if you read down, if you've got a scope and if you want to use other functions, remote control, then you should be setting it at 115200. But it tells you all that. But this is just a very quick connection via your USB lead. Then go next. Uh, okay, so I need to put the 88 here like so, then go next. And then look, you I've got other radios selected, so select the one you want. So I've selected uh, ICOM, and then once you, or you could click add, let's click add. So we'll just go ICOM, let's just type in 7100-2, see if it lets me put a dash in, then put a password in. So we'll put a password in as, for now, just on this, on the dash two as ICOM. OK, the password's more really for when people are trying to connect to you remotely, really. Click OK. Um, oh, the password must have at least eight characters. So ICOM, ICOM, twice then. Tick the admin box, you may as well. Click OK, and then look, you can add that across by selecting it, make it go blue, and then click Add, and it's now in there. Then it's one of the available users or accessible users. Click Next. Radio name, so I'm going to put in ICOM dash 7102 uh, I'm going to put at the end so click next and then finish and now there's the radio I'm using now but if I wanted to I could use you know uh, the other radio. now the, the whole the reason you have got the option here for server is I can now use this this computer as long as I leave it turned on and connected to my radio and I'll do that bit in a separate video I can now go to my laptop and which I will do, um, select the server and get my radio um, to connect my laptop to connect to the 7100 wire wirelessly because the computer is, at, is using the Wi-Fi. Um, so it sounds more complicated than it is, but the main thing is you're not stuck at your desk uh, with the 7100. You can move around your house as long as you're within the Wi-Fi uh, or the IP address, or however way you want to see it, you'll be fine. So okay, so at the moment I'm gonna if I wanted to use that radio, I would just use that. But I want to I'm carrying on using the the seven one hundred. Okay, so let's just close that down. We don't really need to look at these at the moment. Uh, and that's it. Oh yeah, don't we're not gonna quit that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. 
no I'm going to click no for that and just minimize it so if you look now the setup if I go stop if I turn it off then I go connection set and I'll just show you my settings here so at the top we've selected the radio USB connection I haven't selected remote utility uh, there's the con 13 that we found in device manager there's the board rate there's the 88 I've only ticked the bottom box here click OK and so when we turn it on you know it's work because when you turn it on it will all appear on screen so hopefully that will happen because I've only just set it up there you go so now we can turn up the volume we can change modes frequency you just click on the one you want and then right click this like so we can go to memories and we can save memories here haven't really done that let's turn it down RF gain RF power is all here CW noise blanker noise reduction I think if you double click there is a way to get the more the extra settings I can't remember actually well, you know, where you can change the, uh, the selection. I've literally just done this, but you can hear it working. Um, let's have a go set. There's some settings there. Mic gain. Comp. Just looking up and down here. Preamp. Attenuator. You get the idea. So you get a colour screen. I'm still on the 7100. Now if I had a tuner connected, I could tune, but there's no tuner connected at the moment. You need a tuner that's connected via the icon cable, I would say. Maybe, maybe not, probably. I can even TX. Um, now you can set the audio to come from a different place, but I haven't done that. I've just told it to stay as it is. There's so much more to this. Look, voice memory, CW Kia, that's your set mode, tells you the settings that you've done, you can exit, filters, see that changing, let's click filters on the actual screen, AGC, there's filters, you can change that, you're just clicking everything really, not and you've got bands. It will do 70 sem. Now let's let's get it into DR mode because I haven't tried that actually. So let's just hit DR and see if it. Yeah, look, it does go to DV. I don't think we're getting the DV menu. You see that the way it's switched. There you go. So it has gone into DV. Yeah, I wouldn't say it stayed there. So not really sure about that. I'll have to learn more about that. Let's try it one more time. DR. It will do it on the 705. Maybe if I try VFO mode. So we'll go to VFO. Uh, tap this. Menu. VFO mode. Right, we're in VFO mode. Now, yeah, VFO there. And then we'll go DR. Let's see what it does. We've hit DR. It's flicking back on the radio, but on the yeah, so it's not staying in that. So let me know what I'm doing wrong there. Turn that down. Split frequency. Yeah, the 7100 has that. Duplex plus and minus. A and B. A to B, sorry. A B. XFC is when you're on a repeater. Uh, and so on and so on. You get the idea. You can control the radio. And this is just me. A USB cable connection direct to the radio. And then how to set it up. So the next thing I'm going to try and do is access it from my, uh, from my laptop. And that will be a separate video. So 73, thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe if you find these videos helpful. All the best. Catch you on air.